Hey, well, hey, everybody. Uh, see, I got a new toy. It's Christmas. So, uh, during Christmas shopping season, I found out about this deal that uh, Explore Scientific had on a mount that looked really ridiculously cheap. They were advertising, it's an I EXOS 100 for uh, $299 and it's a go-to mount and tracking and the tripod and one of the guys in one of the Facebook groups had said he had bought one already and that it worked quite well even though you know, he said it had a very lightweight tripod and all that and I was debating it and I uh, thought well you know maybe it's good for camera and lens and stuff and um, while I was looking, I noticed that they started advertising another version of it, if you will, and it was the IEXOS 100 HD. And the HD, the way I understood it, had a heavier tripod, and it also included an alpha azimuth adjuster, which I don't have on here right now. Right now, I've just got this set in here. I'm going to show you the whole thing here in a minute, what's going on. And a... Uh, polar alignment scope because this uses a peephole. So they've made one that just kind of mounts off on the side. And then also a dovetail bar, kind of a fancy one that has uh, grooves in it where you can put in quarter by 20 screws and make things adjustable. And it has uh, gradation marks on it so you can measure for each position you put it in. Anyway, I decided to order the $599 one. And it shows up in three separate boxes. But you have a big box that had this tripod and the mount head and the counterweights, which I don't have on here right now. They're small. They're like, uh, I think it's a total of four pounds. I think it said 2.2 kilograms, so maybe four and a half pounds or something. And I get messing with it just to look at it. And uh, I thought, this tripod seems like the light thing. If you'd seen my other video I did on Explore Scientific uh, a year or two ago, I bought a uh, very lightweight four inch refractor and the tripod looks very much like this. And I commented that, you know, it's fine for viewing, not made for photography. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna do this, I was gonna go ahead and get the heavy duty one. Well, I see this tripod and I'm like, doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on and the other two boxes had the dovetail bar I was supposed to have and the uh, azimuth adapter and then the uh, polar finder. I'm like okay. So then I uh, got online and just started looking at all their advertisements. And then as I went through there I found out okay it definitely showed a picture of a different tripod. So, uh, of course, this is right before Christmas when I figured this out. So, I had a little hard time getting in contact with customer service, but I did get in contact with them after, well, I called one time each day for three different days. I called right before Christmas, so I figured, well, hell, they're having a Christmas party or something. And, uh, you know, I left them a message, didn't hear back, and then... As soon as Christmas was over, I called back again. I thought, well, this day is probably crazy, too. And I only called once that day, left a message. And then the next day, I called again, and I got a person. And I'm like, okay, great. And uh, they were really good. You know, she's telling me, oh, gee, let's find out what's going on, you know, and has me get my order number and that. And then she asked me to send her photographs of what I received. And... Um, I'll show you some of my photos too I took, including the box. And she agreed, oh, we accidentally sent you the wrong tripod. So she said, we will get it out to you. And this was right before New Year's. And uh, I think the, on the 29th or the 30th, 29th maybe, I get an email saying that they had created a shipping label and it said that my new tripod was gonna arrive on January 2nd or 3rd, I mean, January 3rd. And uh, which was today, by the way. And uh, I was thinking, well, this just says that uh, 
that created the label. It doesn't say that UPS actually has it. So I wasn't expecting it to show up. I wasn't even sure if they were going to, you know, have it in the warehouse boxed up or whatever. Well, then right after New Year's on January 2nd, I look and it says they have it. And UPS still says it's coming the next day. And I'm like, they're going to overnight this thing to me? And uh, sure enough, they did. It shipped out on January 2nd. And today, January 3rd, I got my new tripod. So I'm going to show that to you. And we'll show you the comparison. And this is making me nervous. It's just sitting here. Uh, first thing, this lightweight one, this stuff's all plastic. Thinner legs. This eyepiece tray, it's a spreader and that kind of a lock. That way, see, this tripod folds up and makes it very portable. And you just put it in here, get the notches to line up, and give it a little twist. You don't have to twist very hard, and it just locks into place. And uh, that's the same way that the one was for the uh, refractor that I bought, the real lightweight one. I thought, well, okay, I definitely wanted the heavier one. So I'm going to show you the heavier one now that I got today. Okay, so here is the one I was supposed to get. And here again, I've got, I'll just set this here just to kind of show you. Sets up there, gives you an idea what it looks like. And then I'll have the uh, azimuth adapter in between. And I'm going to make videos on that, too. I'm planning to make a series of videos on this, trying to figure it out, how everything works. And also, uh, I want to kind of go through the maze of uh, the different tripods and things, mounts that are uh, under the name Explore Scientific. And I'm also finding out Dresser. And then I'm not positive, but I think Max Vision may be some of them, too. And you see some of them for sale on very low prices on eBay and everything else. And uh, some of them are very lightweight, like what I was just looking at. And some of them are pretty heavy duty. Explore Scientific does have some things that are really pricey. I don't know who makes them, but they do have some stuff that's really expensive. So set that baby down. So now the big difference with this tripod, it's definitely heavier. You got larger diameter legs here up top. Down here, I'm not sure if this shows up, but I've got it up high enough. Um, you have actually have two locking screws for each leg. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. That's kind of interesting. And as you can see here, you've got a bar. This is a threaded T-bar. And uh, you have a metal tri eyepiece tray, metal, so it's a spreader combination eyepiece tray. And it's made out of metal, like you get on the heavier mounts. And uh, it's got a threaded bar that comes up here and a little locking nut down here that you can turn to uh, press the uh, tr spreader up in here tighter. It has its uh, azimuth adjuster stop here. I'll give you a closer view of that. So uh, now that we've got a little closer view, it has the azimuth pin, they call it. And this is actually molded in here. On um, some of them, they have a hole drilled, and there's a bolt, and it just threads on there. And uh, I've got a threaded post here, which I've actually in this instance, this is an insert, uh, and that's because of the azimuth adapter that I mentioned. Because if I put the azimuth adapter in between the mount head and the tripod, then this thread won't reach all the way. So all this is, I don't want to thread it quite all the way. I don't have this, uh, I've just got this kind of part together. But this uh, little, spacer piece here has a threaded socket in the bottom of it and you set it down in the hole here and it'll that way you can thread this t-bar in there 
and all it does is raise the uh, threads there. So it's really like an extension. And it's designed to be self-centering. Like I say, I've just started getting this together. Once I get this correct, there's like a uh, snap ring washer that I'll put on here, and then that'll make sure that this doesn't fall out. I'm holding on to it now to make sure I don't drop it. But uh, that's on there. So this is much sturdier than the other one, and it'll be much better for photography. And I'm trying to figure out a few things about it, like, uh, you know, they've come up with a heavier tripod, but it's the same mount head. So I'm trying to figure out, have they uh, been taking discontinued items and combining them with items that they're still using? I think that's part of what's going on, but I don't actually know. But uh, this seems like there's another one I've been seeing ads for called, a, I think it's called an Exos 2 GT. And um, they've been showing it here recently on sale for like $699, depending on where you get it. And it was $999. And it's a dis. It said, you know, when I first time I saw it, it said it was a discontinued model, and it had different electronics to it. It had a, actually had a big box. So the other version, the one I mentioned, the EXOS 2 GT that I saw advertised here recently, it had a control box. It looked like an internet router kind of, you know, and it had connectors where you could. Uh, connect in your uh, cables and in this instance they had one that ran up to the RA motor and one that ran to the declination motor and it was supposed to have the same belt drive PMC8 they call it it's a uh, I think it stands for precision motor control and it's supposed to be really good and like I, said, I haven't had a chance to try it really I uh, I did try the the mount head I uh, tested it with the software just indoors and it does work and it sounds pretty cool so you know i'm looking forward to having clear skies and hopefully not freedom but i wanted to share you this here what was going on especially if you happen to order one of these and you got the lightweight tripod get in touch with them if you were supposed to get the hd model and if you paid the extra you might have a better tripod coming to you okay so um I'll show you here what I was, you know, supposed to get. And I did order it from the Explore Scientific, um, I think it says Explore Scientific USA website. So it was coming from uh, Arkansas. And uh, I'll show you a label with some of that too. But uh, if you notice it, it's the IXOS 100 and then it has HD. And that's the big thing right there. I, I got it for $599 on sale through the Christmas special. They said it had been $999. And then the IXOS 100, I think it was Dash 2, the lightweight model with the plastic tray and that, was on sale for $299. It had been uh, $599. So here's a picture of the label that they have kind of from the factory, I guess you'd say. And as you can see, it came from Explore Scientific in Springdale, Arkansas. And this was the original stuff I got, right? So this is the lightweight tripod and it just says IXOS 100 mountain tripod only. It doesn't say anything about HD. And this part included the uh, tripod and the mount head and the counterweight bars and or the counterweights and the bar for the counter. Now then today this is labeled from the box where I got the correct tripod. So they marked it as ST2 black tripod. So it had a different part number for the tripod. Some of the accessories that came with this with either version was this is a little battery box container, the black plastic bag there contains a little holder where you can put eight 
C batteries in there and it'll get you up to 12 volts of power. You can also use an AC adapter. I've got an AC adapter, a 12 volt one that has the proper plug and I found I can power it with that. And then on the right hand side here that uh, clips onto a tripod leg and holds that battery holder if you want to use that. And then here is the azimuth adapter piece that fits in between the tripod and the tripod head. This part came with the HD model. If you, so if you bought the 299 one, you would not get this. And these are the, this is the insert that came with it. It has a couple inserts depending on which tripod you have. They show three different tripods. And like I said, I'm wondering, some of these tripods may be discontinued, but this one here, I'll zoom in on it a little, is the lightweight one, the IXO 100. So I believe, it's kind of hard to tell from that, but I believe this is the lightest one. Then this Twilight Medium, I think is actually what I'm supposed to have the equivalent of that. And then they have a Twilight Heavy. Came with uh, two counterweights. And these are quite small. I think they weigh uh, one kilogram each. I think they're 2.2 pounds each. So I think it gives you a total of four and a half pounds. And uh, that mount, it had an unusual advertisement about the way they advertised the uh, weight capacity or the load, the load capacity. Usually what they do is they tell you um, how much of a load it can carry, like they'll say it can carry 10 pounds or whatever, 20 or 30, and then you should be able to put an equivalent amount of counterweights on it. But in this case, it was kind of odd. It said something like 19 pounds total, and uh, I think it said you could put 15 pounds of equipment on it, but then it said 19 total. And this is the polar scope that comes with the HD model again. And uh, this part here mounts to the front of the mount. When I'm going to do a video when I put it all together to show how it all works. So this here, it doesn't look right down the center the way the people does, but it's supposed to be able to get you good polar alignment. So we'll see how that works. And this is their fancy looking dovetail bar. It's got uh, slots here where you can put uh, like a one quarter by 20 thread uh, bolt through there. And then it's got some markings or if you depend on how you center it, you can take note of if you want to slide it back at 40 or 50 or whatever mark you set it on. And here's just a picture of the manual or uh, they call it PMC8 is their uh, hardware software combination I guess you could say where it has a belt driven motor and it has a so the PMC's precision motion controller and it's supposed to have eight separate little uh, control units. I guess they're like little bitty CPUs or whatever they want to call them. And each one works on a certain task. Okay, so uh, the software that setup that this has you can connect by way of Bluetooth with a uh, tablet. It won't connect to my Android phone, just a standard smartphone. But if you have a tablet, I guess you want to make sure, I think it says you're supposed to have a minimum of 7 inch screen. You can control it with some type of an Android tablet or Windows tablet and I believe Apple's as well. But I do do have a laptop computer with a um, wireless adapter so I could connect with it with Windows. I, use, I did it with Windows 10 in this case. And I could use their software 
which their particular wireless software is mainly for viewing. I don't think it uh, gives you any options for uh, hooking up an auto guide or anything like that, but you can do go to and things like that with it. And it really, but I didn't think it was too bad of a program. And but then I could also connect by wire, connect a USB cable to the computer, and uh, then I could use things like uh, Cartier du Ciel or Stellarium, and I'm just learning it, but I was able to, it'll function it, because like I said, I just tested it inside. That. So here's a quick look at the website where I bought it. Like I mentioned, there's a ton of places selling these things, and it can be real confusing because you'll see this uh, HD version here, like what I bought for sale for $5.99 on one website, and another website will actually show this one that's not the HD version. And it'll say $5.99, and you might buy it and think that you were getting the HD and be pretty frustrated. So anyway, I ordered it from ExploreScientificUSA.com. And then here on the same website, I think I mentioned this one here, they call it the Exos 2GT. And... Uh, this is says right now it's on sale for six ninety nine. So it said this one here was also nine ninety nine before it was on sale. Now, uh, of course, I think this went on sale, or I noticed it being on sale after I ordered the one I got. I don't know if I would have been thinking about uh, spending another hundred dollars or not, but I suppose it'd be something to look at. But this is the old version. I'll show you a couple little pictures of it a little bit closer that shows its different electronics and things. So here's a little closer view of it. And uh, you can see they've got a box. So it looks kind of like an internet router or something. But you connect your cables couple of cables to the box and then up to your deck motor and RA motor and uh, it appears to basically be the same tripod that I have I'm not positive it could be the heavier tripod and this one it comes with the azimuth adapter and uh, it has a built-in polar scope so it doesn't have the little peephole and this one is advertised as carrying heavier weight, too. I think it carries up to uh, 28 pounds. And I believe you can connect either by Bluetooth or by directly by USB cable, too. Pretty sure. And here's a picture of its uh, polar scope. So as you can see, it's... If you've seen the picture of the other one on the mount I got, which I will end up showing on another video, it's just a tiny little peephole, and this has a real live scope. Here's something I was talking about where it gets kind of confusing. Um, in fact, over here, this says it's an Exos 2 GT, and who knows who this is. Home decor discount. Says they're selling it for sixty-seven dollars with free shipping, and uh, I don't know. I'm skeptical, but uh, it looks like a completely different model too. So this, I don't know, could very well be a scam. Obviously, for that price, but uh, could be a very old version, and who knows? You know, could be an old one that got returned, and maybe it has problems. I don't have any idea, but. Uh, the point is that, you know, they claim that it's an Exos 2 GT, and it's not the same one that's over at the uh, website that I was just showing you a second ago, the actual Explore Scientific website. And, of course, you can buy Explore Scientific stuff from different 
companies too that are legitimate. Um, I bought, I say that previous one I had, the one with the refractor that I made a video on that has just the old manual type of uh, hand controls instead of an electric motor. I bought that off of B&H. And uh, matter of fact, I think this is that same tripod and they call it an Exos Nano. So they've got a bunch of different names. Here's Exos Nano. Looks like T100 or something. And it looks like basically the same. And like I mentioned, uh, the name Bresser. That shows up and so does Max Vision. And some of those things look like the same stuff. I guess all I can say is if you're buying this stuff, be really careful what you're looking at and make sure that it is what you think it is. And good luck.